Welcome back to Digger Down Metal Detecting, where I am out, out on a ploughed field. Now, believe it or not, believe it or not, this is the field of dreams. Um, and it's been ploughed, look at this. How beautiful is that? Um, I spoke to the farmer yesterday. I gave him a message just to say I was gonna be out here. I like to let him know I'm, I'm gonna be out here at the weekend, um, just so he knows I'm here. Um, and he replied with, uh, yeah, okay, that field's been ploughed, uh, but not drilled. I was like, perfect, thanks. <laughs> uh, that'll do. Yeah, so if I'd have turned up here and he hadn't said that, I'd, 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 I would have assumed this would as drilled and I wouldn't, there's no way I'd have been going on here. Um, but no, he says it's not been drilled, which I, I can't believe. It almost, it, it looks like it's done in rows, like it's been drilled to me, but he says it's not, so we'll go for that. Um, we're going to have a look today. I've, I've figured out that the, the manticore has got real, real big issues. There's a big problem. Um, so we're going to look a little bit more into that today. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we get on with it. But um, yeah, there's, there's a big problem. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else knows about it. They must do. They must do. They must realise. Um, but yeah, we'll be having a look at that. So I'm out with the manticore. Um, I've got the M9 coil on. Um, Cracking coil, amazing coil. Don't forget, you can get that coil, you can buy that um, at Dragon Detecting. You can use my code on that, um, digger D10, and get yourself 10% off that. It's, it's amazing, honestly. For those asking, I don't, I don't ignore your messages. I try and get through them as I, as I go. You know, it takes a lot of time. Um, but for those asking, yes, I, I do use the M9 coil now over the 11, hands down, without fail. I, I won't be putting the M11 back on. Uh, the 11 inch um, yeah that m9 is amazing it's just brilliant gets in between the iron really well same depth no no difference in depth and it pulls items off from this you know from the side of the coil so you're not losing any any ground coverage i don't feel like you are anyway and it's lighter it's got everything everything about it is better <laughs> um so yeah there's your answer for that one, <laughs> if I haven't answered you already. Um, but yeah, let's stop, let's stop chatting and let's get on this beautiful, beautiful soil here. So soft, I put my spade in and it's just gone full spade depth without even trying. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, have, let's go, it's gonna be a cracking day. It's gotta be good. This field's amazing, can't wait. <music> Do this. Put the little headphones on. I can't believe this has been ploughed. This field, so exciting. <laughs> how do we get so excited? Look how soft it is. Honestly, it's like literally. Oh, this is going to be amazing. It's got to be good. Well, <laughs> I say that it'll either be really good, or it'll be a disaster because it's aerated the soil. <laughs> Nah, it's gotta be, it's gotta have turned up some more, hasn't it? I mean, I, I haven't even done this field at all, really, in, you know, to consider how big the field is. I've only been on there a few times, we're already on a signal there, 15, 16. It's just gonna be a case of just scooping the soil out. Hardly any digging at all. It was quite hard on here before, actually. As you can see, it's quite foggy this morning. Where are you? Is it? Probably a piece of lead. Yeah. Just a piece of lead to start the day off. There's plenty of that on here, as I've said before. But where there's lead, there's everything else. <laughs> um, yeah, lead is always a good sign. Don't be disheartened if you're finding lots of lead. Just can't believe how, how soft this ground is. My feet are actually sinking in. <laughs> Thank you. 
It doesn't sound too good, I'm not sure on it. Sounds better that way. We'll have a dig. This is one of those fields where you have to nearly, really dig almost everything just because <clears throat> there's so much on here that you just never know. Just another piece of lead, I think. Like I say, you never know. You've got to, got to dig it all. But yeah, I'll uh, we'll keep going, and I'll uh, I'll see you on that first good find, hopefully. Lovely, 46, 47, 48. Literally, don't even have to put my foot on the spade. Like a signal like that. What's that gonna be? Saw something then. It's actually quite hard in this, <laughs> surprisingly hard in this soil because it, um, there somewhere, shush, <laughs> pinpoint that goes mad. It's quite difficult in this soil because it's um, so soft actually, but that's strange. That's a random, looks like a piece of pewter, but I was expecting a, a button actually, but yeah, it's just a piece of pewter, I think, that. Just an odd shaped piece. But yeah, we'll carry on. There we go, first find of the day. Not far in to the field. I've literally just walked from that corner, had those couple of bits of lead, bit of pewter there, and we got this. Coming up in the 50s, I probably should have filmed it, but <laughs> I didn't. Um, I'd literally only just turned my camera off from that other bit of pewter, but we've got there a lovely bronze buckle. And I think, oh, look at that. It's got some detail on there. I didn't see that. That's awesome. I'm going to struggle today. No, I'm not. I'm going to kneel down. <laughs> Soft enough to kneel on this stuff. So we'll give this a little bit of a clean up because that's beautiful. That's going to be a medieval buckle all day long, I would have said. And that is in beautiful condition. Absolutely incredible. Literally five signals in. Just signal after signal as well. I'm taking a few steps between signals. So it's going to be a lot of digging today. So it's like a groove in the top there. Sorry guys, I was off camera a bit there. Probably wasn't, but <laughs> always think I am. Um, but that is stunning. Look at that. What a buckle. I love a buckle as well, and that, the shine on that, look at that, that is just stunning, already, I mean, I've only just walked onto the field, that's crazy, this field is amazing, oh dear, I don't know, it's just mad, this is going to be a mad day, I've got a feeling, absolutely incredible. Another big 52 signal, pretty solid there actually, nice signal, that is bright that, very bright signal. <coughs> Could be lead. Is it a musket ball? Yeah. Bigger on musket ball. There you go. Very solid signal that. We do love a musket ball. I'll add that to my jar at home. I've got a jar that I'm slowly filling up with them. <laughs> Lovely. Super, super bright signal here. Absolutely crystal. Don't want to be too noisy. Don't want to draw attention here. <laughs> he has had night hawkers on here before, so he was talking to me about it once, um, which is an sh absolute shame. 
luckily he's still got a bit of faith in the hobby I think oh is that it bullet I think it's a bullet yeah gladly he's got a bit of a uh, bit of faith left in it I think um obviously to trust me to come on here I don't collect bullets by the way so that's uh, unfortunately trash to me <laughs> Although, actually, I did go out the other night, the other evening, and I had a few little finds. I forgot to show you in the pot. These are, so this is today. It's only that buckle in here and the uh, big musket ball. But this is from the other evening for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, big, big 50 cal bullet. That's pretty cool. I quite like that. <laughs> like, like I say, not something I really collect. Nice little bit of buckle there. Bit of bronze pot. And what I think is a ring, but it's, uh, I don't know if you see it very well, but it's steel. I'll probably show you that later. Um, yeah, definitely not silver. Came out that shiny. It was on the surface. I think it's a ring, unless it's like a little, unless it's a money holder or also like a cash. Um, notes, roll, maybe. Something like that, possibly. I'll show you later and you can decide for yourselves. And a lovely little button, which I'll show you later as well. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad he's got a bit of faith left in it and allow me to come on here. That's a, it takes a bit of doing for somebody, I think, when they've been, you know, when they've had night hawkers and he knows they've been on here because he, he saw all the holes and um, but I kind of reassured him, which I think you've got to do. You've got to do. It's hard for landowners, isn't it, to trust somebody. <clears throat> I show him everything I find. Every time I come out, I send him a photo of my finds. If he wants to see anything in person, he can. I've always told him if he wants anything, he's welcome to it, you know, that kind of thing. I don't want to... I took him that big spike, that big bronzy, brassy spike. Not sure what he wanted that for, but he wanted it. It's, his, it's up to him. It's his choice. 20 there, a little 20, 21. Um, literally, I just don't stop digging. I do not stop digging. Every few, every few steps, there's a signal. That nine inch coil just plucks it out. It's just a piece of lead again, I think, yeah. Like I say, lots of it. I don't know how well you can hear that, but Actually, it sounds quite shallow. I thought it was uh, deeper than that. But... Bit of an iron grunt in there. I don't know if you can... Hold on. There is iron right next to that. But it sounds quite shallow, though. So, we'll have a look. Try the pinpointer. Yeah. Oh yes, get in. I think that's a hammered coin. It's just poked up out of the surface there. I'm pretty sure that's a hammered. I'll, uh, I'll get you straight on the other camera and we'll have a look together. Here we are, look at this. I've just moved round out of the light because I was kind of blocking the sun, but that's how it sort of stood up as I uh, was pinpointing there. Look at that. There's a little hammered coin. You absolute corker. Cannot believe that. Well, I can because this field's just crazy. and and. I'm actually very close to that corner again where I keep finding them or found a lot of them. I mean, they're fairly widespread across this field, but I seem to keep finding a lot on this uh, near this edge of the field. That's going to be a little Edward, I think, and a really nice one at that. The condition of the coins on this field seem to be incredible as well. Sometimes bust side not so good. Always the bust side, isn't it? But the reverse is very nice. Did they not like this, Edward? <laughs> Were they? Did they scrub his face off like some of the other coins? I know they did a lot of that with the Elizabeths. Um, sorry, bear with me. I'm just trying to, just trying to dry the. Excuse my shiny white legs. Look at that. That's what you get for being a ground worker and wearing trousers all year round so I don't cut my legs up. <laughs> uh, but there we go, look at that, what a beauty. Try and have a look, see if I can see the mint on that. Um, not sure, 
on that one actually. I think that's an older one. I think that's going to be an Edward the First, possibly. Is it an Edward? I can't really make it out. I'll have to have a closer look myself and and see. But there you go. There's his little bust. You see his crown. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's a Henry or a, an Edward, actually. I think an Edward. Very difficult to tell. The writing's gone all... has been smoothed off on that side. Um... Yeah, I'm not seeing the civvy tas, so it obviously says something else. It'll be something on, it'll be the money you're on there. Possibly. I can't make that out, but we'll have, I'll have a closer look myself in a little while, and I'll uh, see if I can figure out what it is. But what a beauty, what a coin. First silver of the day, very early on. Absolute cracker. That is crazy. Look at this. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get you to see the pattern and on here. I don't know the age of that. I really, I wouldn't know. I found one quite similar, I think. If it is what I think it is, it could be something else. <laughs> I'm just assuming here. Um, let's try and try gently. I don't know if I can get that dirt off there. I'm going to have to spray this I think it's quite dried up this ground is pretty dry on here um, so we'll give it a spray oh my goodness me look at this is that medieval then or is that older I don't want to rub it too much because I don't want to take that uh, gilded pattern gilded off there you know that is just incredible Wow what a find these this field i tell you there's some special special stuff out here it just doesn't end it just doesn't stop try and just squirt the dirt out of there i think best i can coming out quite nicely um i won't go too far with it here because I don't want to damage that guild, and I don't think I will, to be fair. It's fairly well on there. I'll give it a gentle, gentle brush. This is super soft, by the way. Look how soft that is. You can see how fine they are. So we'll just be very careful with it. Just loosen it up a bit. That is just incredible. Incredible. Yeah, like I say, I found, you remember that I found that bigger, there was a slightly bigger one of these. I'll um, try and find that at home and put a picture up of that again. But that pattern is just absolutely stunning. I won't go any further than that. We'll give it a little dry. Just one find after the other. Absolutely crazy. That was a big signal as well. So it's obviously this plough has, has brought this stuff up because... <clears throat> because I've been over and over here and I wouldn't have missed a big signal like that that's come up from the depth that is just stunning isn't it and there's even gilding and patterning on the actual buckle loop itself I don't know I'll probably once I've cleaned it out I'll probably be able to get that buckle to move yeah it is it is got some movement so that's good I'll be able to clean that out and that will move round again but yeah it's like a strap end isn't it this i don't know the age of that i don't know if it's older whether it's medieval or older i'd say medieval but i could be totally wrong that's just absolutely stunning isn't it what an incredible find again I'll come back to you because I've, uh, I, I couldn't resist having a little bit more of a clean up and it didn't take a lot for that. That buckle is actually lovely and loose in there, so which is great. It's not bent or anything. This It's not 
damaged in any way apart from just the you know the the ground being in the ground for so long but look at that just incredible i'm just shocked by the you know the detail on there and the gold the gilding that is just beautiful it's like i say there's some on the buckle loop as well you can see the gilding on there i don't know if i can if i turn it this way maybe it'll be a bit wow that's just stunning absolutely stunning incredible little find This was coming in about an iffies in the 40s, but I think I think we got ourselves another buckle. I'm trying to get the right light here. Pretty sure it's a buckle. Yes. Yes it is. Okay, that's a bit different. Oh, it's like a swivel, I think. Yeah, it is a little one of those little swivelly buckles, isn't it? It's got the little pin at the bottom there would have swiveled on that point it's like a yeah a swivel <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna say that's probably medieval as well looks like that's got some decoration on there we'll have a little clean up again i think i think we're beginning to see the issue here with the uh the manticore as we go along I won't say too much about it but it's uh yeah there's definitely a problem Yeah, that is beautiful. Again, another lovely little find. Seems to be so many buckles. And it's funny because I zigzag from the edge of the field outwards. Um, and the further out into the field I go, the more I seem to find buckles, which is odd. There we go. Let's have a little, nice little look at this. There we go. Look at that little decoration on the top there. Beautiful little buckle again, or swivel, should I say. Um, it would have allowed the strap to turn, wouldn't it? Um, either way, I don't know what that would have been off, but yeah, definitely a little swivel. I don't know whether it would have had a pin. I don't think they did. I don't think it did. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, beautiful little find again. I do like my 30 signals on this field. I've got a lovely 31... 30, 31, pretty solid and nice round dot on the screen. Come out in one scoop. Like I say, not much digging to be done on here. Come on, what's it gonna be? <laughs> Typical, a bit of lead. But that's what I mean, you've gotta, you've gotta dig those signals, haven't you? Yeah, just a blob of lead. All the same signals, little hammered signals, very similar. Always fill your holes, doesn't matter what the field's like, whether it's been ploughed or what, gotta fill them up. Another unmissable signal, you just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't miss this. <coughs> this, uh, this plough has bought this stuff up, 71, 72 sometimes jumping up to the 80s there I think it's out there's not a lot of trash on this field but there is some and what we got there we got a ring thing <laughs> um, a very big thick ring thing I don't know if that was a could have been a annular brooch or buckle that although I can't see where <clears throat> I can't see where the um, what you call it would have been the uh, the pin yeah not 100% sure but it's yeah there you go nice big thick ring thing <laughs> yeah nothing else to it just I'd say that's medieval or post medieval but lovely yeah
I don't always film these. I do. I find quite a lot of this sort of uh, thing. Um, whether that's part of like a strap end or is it just like a leather mount, maybe some kind of decoration, or is it a catch? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but I do find quite a lot of it. I'm guessing medieval, um, as there's a lot of medieval on here, obviously. Um, but yeah, you've got two little sort of studs on the back there. Don't know whether it had would have had a reverse plate on there, maybe like a, a plate a lot on the back as well. Or is, is it broken off, or is that would that have just been studded into some leather, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. If you know what that is, please let me know. So I quite often find that little top piece actually on its own. Um, weirdly, it's got a little little indent in the bottom of it there. Um, yeah, I quite often find that top piece. But yeah, let me know what you think of that. Is it some kind of toggle maybe? Yeah, interesting little pieces. I'll let you listen to that one <coughs> quickly. <laughs> Doesn't sound overly deep. It's very sharp though. Out in one scoop again. I love that. This soil. It's like it's more like sand. Look. <laughs> somewhere is that it oh my god <laughs> i think is that a coin let me pick it up because i don't know it is it is a hammered i thought it was when i first saw the edge but yeah definitely a hammered let's get you on the other camera guys there we go <laughs> i dig i'll tell you what i dig so much and i, I film so many uh signals but obviously i um yeah there's a lot of lot of lead and what have you so they don't all make it into the into the video but then when I when I finally get one <laughs> live that's even better isn't it um, what's that it's quite an odd looking coin that who is that it's nearly a complete coin I can even see the dotted dotted edge there not sure entirely who that is actually bit of a different one I think I'll have a closer look. Who is that? Well, it's that way up. There we go. That's why. <laughs> Had it the wrong way up. I think it's an Edward. Another Edward. Shame it's missing a slight little bit on the edge of the coin there, because that is a full coin. Oh, that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just give that a little dry on my shorts. absolute beauty look at that is that an Edward again I'm pretty sure it is well, it could be wrong there it could yeah I think that's an Edward the first could be totally wrong there but um, and I think so let me tass I think yeah that is that's a Canterbury mint there look city tass C A N and T-O there, T-O-R, that would be, so it's a Canterbury Mint, absolutely beautiful, this, uh, just madness, this, this machine is absolutely incredible, it just doesn't miss anything, um, and I think that's part of the issue, <laughs> there's not really a problem with the Manticore, a little bit of a joke there, but it's, uh, yeah, it just, the, the issue with it is it doesn't stop finding stuff, it literally just it just smashes everything out of the ground. It doesn't stop. And the problem there is that you are digging all day long, non-stop. Um, as anybody will find, if you buy yourself a manticore, you won't stop digging. It's just constant. Absolutely constant. Look what we're finding, you know. It's crazy. Absolutely amazing. Of course you've got to walk over it. Yes, I can hear you all saying it now. <laughs> You have got to walk over it still, but um, yeah, it doesn't stop. It really doesn't stop. What a beauty. There we go again.
I've just had a little 1617 signal that sounded like lead to me, which uh, rightly so. But actually, it is lead. But it's this. Beautiful. I've, had, I've already had a clean up because I was having a little look up to see what it was. Because obviously I thought it was lead in the ground. I thought just another bit of lead. But it seems to be blank on that side apart from what's been... How the yeah, that's quite deep, you know. It's been punched right through, hasn't it? So you can just see the pellets a bit on this side. Um, but yeah, that's a I'd have said a lead farming token. It's been cut as well, like squared corners. <clears throat> um, I mean, it's got a very medieval look to me. Uh, but I'm gonna say post medieval just because the lead farming tokens. I think most are sort of post medieval. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. It's got a very, looks like a hammered coin almost, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't find many of those. So that's pretty cool. I'm really pleased with that. What a very nice little find. And the detail on it, like I say, how deeply struck that is, is pretty cool, that. Very nice indeed. Well, lovely 3031. 30, you know what comes in around those numbers? And I've already seen it. <laughs> oh, look at that lovely little beetle. He's shiny. Almost as shiny as this here in this little clod. <laughs> now that looks like another little hammered coin to me. Let me, um, let me just kneel down. Get you rested there. Oh, yes. Look at that. Lovely little hammered coin in the clod. See just out of interest oh it looks a nice one as well can we get very difficult in this soil because it just pulls away usually can we get a nice little imprint i think we can not a lot of detail on the imprint but we've got one you little beauty another another hammered coin that's the third one today I'm only sort of halfway through the day, really. And we're on to another one. That might be a Henry. Again, not sure. It's used, it's, they're all lost that right-hand side where I need to see. I think that is a Henry because it's got something in the middle of the cross there. Oh, look at that. Kind of like a little loop, little circle in the middle of the cross. Is that an early Henry, maybe? Not sure. I don't know all my hammered coins. I'm I'm fairly good with with most, but when it comes to the Edwards and the sort of Henrys of these long crosses, I get a bit lost. Um, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess a Henry on that one. Try and put my bottle away and just give that a little brush there, just so I can see if I can see the writing. Give it a little dry up as well, and then we'll have a closer look. Oh, I've got to stand up at my knees. <laughs> um, let's have a little look there. Mm, yeah, difficult one. But that's a beautiful little coin. That lovely little crown. I think that's a Henry. I'm just guessing there, but I think that crown looks more like a Henry crown to me. Plus that little loop in the middle there. That's pretty cool. That. I've not seen that middle before i think they have a little sometimes they have a little h in the middle of our henry as well um but yeah i'm not even seeing really the writing that's been heavily clipped the, the writing around the edge to tell me what that is could be a london mint that could be a d-o-n on that little corner there possibly but that's uh that's just a guess but there we go another hammered coin <laughs> unbelievable what a mega day. Just wandered straight across the field to the other side because it's the only side of the field where there's sort of trees. The sun always seems to be over this side, sort of shading, you know, this half of the field. So I thought I'd come over here for some lunch myself a chicken roll what a day we're having honestly 
just incredible, isn't it? I know I joked about the uh, the manticore having having issues, but it, it's a huge issue. It is. <laughs> it just it just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop finding stuff. Um, it's a crazy, crazy machine. If you haven't got one, you're missing out, honestly. It doesn't matter what you think, <laughs> you are missing out. It is just mega. It's just an awesome machine. Um, it's just something about it. It just, it's the way it's built, the way it's designed, the way it's engineered. Um, the programming on it is just unreal. It's just, yeah, it's pulling stuff out left, right and center. It's, um, yeah, absolutely incredible. Really, really good machine. Well worth the money without doubt um but yeah i'm gonna have some dinner and then we'll crack on see if we can find some more how many hammers can we find today <laughs> i don't want any more i'm not i'm not greedy i'm not, I'm not greedy threes threes more than enough uh, threes at threes are blooming good days detecting isn't it and and with the rest of the finds i've had today is just already halfway through the day and we're just smashing it smashing it so yeah i'll have some lunch and then we'll crack on. Just literally got up from lunch. I was over by that tree there, just walking across. I've had a couple of um, uh, little bullet shells little really small bullet shells sort of modern stuff um there seems to be a lot over that side of the field a bit of iron there i can see it on the surface like a hook but i just had this 22 and i can't believe this <laughs> oh now this is being greedy <laughs> um where was that bit of iron so what is that just a piece of random piece of iron little hook sort of thing um but yeah can't believe this look at this it is what you think it is <laughs> it's a hammered coin another hammered unbelievable it seems to be quite dirty that one quite encrusted Let's see if we can give it a little bit of a spray up hopefully get some detail off of it What is it going to be? This is the thing, you just never know, do you? You never know what you're going to find. What sort of, what type of coin it's going to be. A fly literally just flew into the side of my face then as well. <laughs> um, looking like a long cross again. Probably a um, an Edward. Maybe. I'm doing my best to clean it up on camera. Always holding it in the wrong place, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks quite um, browny coloured, this one. It's got quite a coating of something on it that doesn't want to come off with just water and a brush. So we'll probably have to do some more cleaning on that one at home, I think. Um, let's give it a little dry on the old cloth here. I'm swinging dig. <clears throat> definitely looking like a long cross bit of a crusty one this one the surface of it isn't great um i think we've got a bust there i, think I can just make out a bust hard to tell i think he's that way up let me just turn it and see that's a difficult one no he is there he is there yeah, he'd just make his bust out. It's not a very good condition one, that one. Um, but I'm going to guess, I'm going to say that's that's an Edward, I think. Just make out the bust. But still, another hammered coin. And that's the fourth one today. You little beauty. I only just walked a little bit further. That's that tree I just sat by. And I walked over here, found that hammered. Um, which is on the other side of the field actually so that's quite cool um, I have found hammers over there before so I know they're fairly well spread but I've just had this little 36 37 it kind of sounded dull if I'm honest a little bit dull but it's this and we seem to be having a little bit of a buckle kind of day don't we is that like the fourth buckle I've found today fourth or fifth 
and that's a beauty again it's going to be medieval you can see the the filing marks on there um yeah very old that don't know whether that was a spectacle buckle and it's broken maybe it was a double loop i don't know maybe it was just like that maybe that's how it is looks as if it's missing a bit off this back end doesn't it maybe a plate possibly but yeah what a beautiful little find again another little bronze buckle absolute beauty now i know i always say it but you've got to dig those low numbers i just had a little eight just down here um and i thought to be honest i thought it was nothing to start with and i've, I've rubbed it and cleaned it it was very grubby and still is actually and i can't clean it any better but that is silver and that's actually the cut quarter of what I believe, if you see that little, there's a little cross just there, look, in that quarter. That is a cut quarter of a tealby penny. Now I don't think it's a very good silver because it's got a very greeny, horrible look into it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a, a tealby penny. So that's a Henry II, that'll be 11, 1150, 1160 I believe somewhere around there very early coin that but yeah not very good silver it's obviously a very low quality um it's got a bit of a mix in it i think or impurities in it anyway but yeah can't believe that i honestly i thought it was going to be nothing just a tiny tiny little signal i do dig them um quite a lot more often than not they are tiny tiny pieces of lead but not this time there you go, a little cut quarter of a tealby penny. And I think that's my fifth hammered coin today. Absolutely amazing. Madness. Beautiful. Solid 32. It's just a cracking signal. Absolutely amazing signal. It's the kind of signal you're looking for. But I've had so many of them today. <laughs> I've had so many of them today and they've all been lead. Very similar signals. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Oh yes, it's not this time. <laughs> it's another hammer, I think. I'll leave it where it is and uh, we'll have a look on the other camera. Good, uh, yeah. There we are guys, that's what I've just seen. I've not moved it. Just there. Looks like a hammered coin. If it's a button, I'm gonna... <laughs> no, it looks like a hammered to me. Definitely looks like a hammered. It definitely is. Let's have a little look at this one. Is this number six? I think it's number six today. There we go. We might even have an imprint. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that for an imprint. That's crazy. Might even just leave that there so I can get a picture of that afterwards. Um, but yeah, we're on another hammered here. This looks nice. Looks like a really nice coin as well. I think that's an Edward, but it's an absolute beauty of a coin. Oh my God. That is something special. That is amazing condition. Definitely, it clearly says Edward. That is just beautiful. That is an incredible hammered coin, that. They don't often come out in that condition, do they? I mean, look at that. It's almost like it was the day it was dropped. That is just incredible let's just um i'll give it a little bit more of a clean and then we'll have a look see if i can figure out who and what it is that is um just immaculate look at that honestly it's like that was minted and dropped the same day it must have been that was not in circulation very long before that was dropped that is just impeccable oh, who is that and what is it <laughs> I have a little look myself to see if I can figure it out it's another one 
it's not um it'll tell you the mint and money won't it um is that Wilhelm? No. Can't work that out. STO. STO. I'm not entirely sure. It's not one I recognise again. I'll have to get these checked out and see if I can figure out who they are. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to try and guess that. But anybody got any ideas, let me know. You can see that. That is just incredible. I don't think it's even clipped or anything. I'm not sure. Maybe slightly clipped on that top edge, but unless it's just struck off the side a bit. But that is just immaculate. What on earth? I think, is that going to be in like an Edward II? He's got a bit of a chubbier face, hasn't he? Not a hundred percent sure, but what an incredible coin! Wow. Well, this def definitely wasn't a signal worth uh, worth recording. Let me just... Not the nicest of signals. Very low. Kind of like a little bit of lead signal, but it's not. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh my God. It's another hammered coin. Not a very good one this time. Well, I'll say that. It's got some good detail on the reverse. It's going to be another little long cross, got a bit of a crack in it there. I just can't believe the day I've had, it's unreal. That's got to be a record, I've never had this many hammered coins in one day. That's another Edward I would have said. Not going to get a lot off this one, unfortunately. But that wasn't a signal I was going to, I was ever going to record, not that low. And it was very iffy in the ground, whether it was up on edge a little bit maybe. Um, but yeah, very wispy, quiet signal, that. Another hammered. I, I've lost count. I, I don't, is that six? Is that six or is that... I don't even know now. I don't even know. We're heading towards the um, end of the field, which is over by that last tree on the end there. Uh, that's where we're heading for. I'm, uh, I'm nearly done for the day, and I, I was just heading back. I was going to do the roundup in a minute. Um, but then I got that. Another hammered. Just unbelievable. Well, what can I say, guys? That's that's, that's going to have to be it for the day. I can't can't carry on. It's, it's madness. I'm still actually setting out my uh, my coins for you to have a little look at, just as a a little round up at the end here. Um, seven seven hammered coins today. I actually did find two milled coins as well, but I don't know if I've got time to make put those into the video because. I found so much. It's just unreal. Unreal. I can't believe I found seven hammered coins. That is a record for me. I've never found that many. I don't know what my record actually is. Maybe three or four in a day. Five at the most. Um, I've never found seven. That's just crazy. Crazy stuff. Like I said, the, the manticore's got massive, massive issues. <laughs> it just sit it just picks it out it doesn't stop finding stuff like i said um yeah a little bit of a joke there i know sorry <laughs> but no it is an it is incredible incredible machine and the, i just can't fault it i cannot fault it i can't think of anything that i would change about it um no i really can't i really can't absolutely incredible machine and it'll just show if i turn you around now you're going to see why it's such an incredible machine and what it can do. It's not about, um, it, it, it's the programming, it's the programming, it's the way it, the way it gets in between that eye and this, I don't think there's another machine like it. I really don't. You might, you know, we say about walking over stuff, um, you've got to walk over it to find it. Yes, but you're not going to find it all the time. And I don't think the manticore misses stuff. 
um, if you walk over it, you are finding it. Um, it's going to pick it out. Um, yeah, just incredible. Let's have a look what we found today, guys. So there we are, guys. Look at this. And this is the reason why. This is the reason why I love this machine. It, honestly, it just doesn't miss a beat. Um, we've had a bit of a buckle day today. I think we've had a bit of a buckle day. I've had nearly... What have we got bits of buckle wise? One, two, three, four, five, six there. Um, a little bit of a strap end, seven. Nearly as many uh, buckles as I've had hammered coins. <laughs> crazy, absolutely crazy. Let's start down the bottom here. That button was from the other evening. I haven't got time to show you those other bits, but there's a bit of button porn for the day as well. That was from an evening out, just an hour or so. But yeah, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, anybody got any ideas on that button? Uh, gather it's military, it's got a crown, some sort of wheel. Is that a cannon? It might be a cannon actually. Let me know what you think of that. I don't know my military stuff, so I'm assuming that's a military button. Um, but yeah, anyways, we've got four musket balls there, and a little, another little button with a shank, just a blank button, nothing on that. Um, a few little odds and sods, like I say, a little bit of a kind of a strap end there. I think there was some detail on there. Not a lot, but yeah, a few little medieval bits there. Medieval ring thing, that object that I'm not 100% sure of. Some kind of catch or toggle, maybe. Um, or just a decoration, I don't know. Um, and of course, all of these buckles. I think that buckle actually is nearly fine to the day, that. That's incredible, absolutely incredible. But some lovely little bits. I found that bit, I didn't film that one. It's actually got the pins still attached, but it's a shame it's all broken. Um, yeah, a little swivel buckle there, little swivel end, um, another medieval, they're all medieval I'm assuming, I'm gathering they're all medieval, um, this was the first, first buckle, nearly one of the first finds of the day, that is absolutely stunning, it's got a bit of weight to that as well, lovely bronze buckle, um, yeah absolutely lovely, lovely little find, um, and of course that, that buckle there is just spectacular isn't it? There's a gilding on there. I can't get it in the right light to really show you. I need to turn that way, maybe. There you go. Look at that. Absolutely special, special, special find, that intact buckle. No pin, unfortunately. I don't know if it even would have had a gather. It would have had a pin. Um, but unfortunately, that's missing. Um, but yeah, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, and of course, coins-wise, like I say, I had two, actually ended up, up with two milled coins, didn't film them. Um, I think that's a, is that William the Third, maybe? That looks like a William. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a William the Third. I don't know if you can see it. Possibly. Could be wrong there. Um, and no idea on the other one, totally scrub. But there we go, seven hammered coins. Wow absolutely wow let me tell that to the sun a bit let me get rid of these two milled coins out of the way so we can see a bit better um there we go seven of them i just can't believe it i think they're all mostly long crosses there we go most of those are long crosses that one is just incredible um and i think maybe a couple of henry's i'm gonna say henry's and edwards but i don't know them i don't i'm not sure um, and we've got a little Henry the second Tealby Penny sort of cut quarter there. Very, very shoddy one. Um, but still counts. <laughs> still happens. But this one, this was the one of the day, isn't it? It's just an absolute beauty. It's a Bristol mint. Um, I'm still not sure on the money are there. Could be Wilhelm, William. Maybe. Not 100% sure, but that is, that's just incredible. What a coin. Honestly, absolutely smashing day. Just no words about it. I can't even describe it. It's just crazy. One of my best days detecting right there. Um, it's got to be. It's just incredible. It's like a little museum, isn't it? <laughs> absolutely amazing. So there we are, guys. I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave. Um, I don't want to. I'd love to carry on all day and all night. <laughs> I just don't want to stop, but I've got to get home and I've got to see the little one and have my tea. So, um, 
yeah thank you very much as always for watching guys i really really appreciate it um i've just passed seven and a half thousand subscribers what <laughs> what on earth that's crazy 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 stuff so thank you thank you for subscribing to the channel and watching my videos i really appreciate it and if you haven't already please do subscribe let's crack on let's get to that eight thousand <laughs> that'd be lovely wouldn't it um but yeah no thank you very much i really appreciate it um and i'll see you on the next one guys mm -hmm.